While surfing the YouTubes, I came across an interesting group build hosted by Sodak Model Cars for naked models. Before you put your head in the gutter, this group build is not for naked modelers, as I plan to stay clothed for the entire process. Probably. What naked models means in this context is not using any type of paint, which pretty much goes against what we all spend so much time trying to apply with surgical precision. This sounds like a low stress project, but I'm sure there'll be some unique challenges. So let's dive in. So this is what I'm gonna build. A Ravel monogram, 57 vet. It is a deluxe kit, everything included. Includes model paint, brush, cement, even in French. Uh, per the rules, I can't really use any of this stuff. Maybe the glue, probably not. Um, kind of did a little bit of homework on this and found out it is molded in red. So hopefully that is what it is. And oh my, someone actually painted the seats brown. Red with a brown interior. Yeah. Oh, and look at that. It is from KB Toys, marked down to $5.99 from back in the day. Original price was $12.99. Believe it or not, I had this shipped to my door for just a little bit more than that. These kits are very plentiful. So, uh, let's say we open this up and uh, get started. One of these lovely clamshell boxes. Ugh. Ah, it is, in fact, molded in red. That is good. There is the wonderful paint cups. I wonder what it smells like. We'll find that out later. We have some white walls. A whole bunch of red plastic. Every modeler's favorite. We have some nice glassage. Got a little scuff on it. That's okay. And uh, a awesome chrome tree. Look at all that shininess. That is fun. We will be using most of that. We have these tires that go with this that's approved oh and here is the plastic cement or cement plastic u ambroid oh this stuff might be pretty good it is still sort of pliable and uh, the instructions are in there so we're gonna just put all this back together. And uh, I don't think I'm gonna put that in there. Oh, I forgot. There was, oh yeah, the fine brush. Ooh, these are actually good for nothing really. I don't know, maybe slathering on some uh, uh, liquid glue, I don't know. This is all cool, but we're not gonna really build this one. Before we get started, I wanna share a little story about the Ravel Monogram 57 Corvette. This kit is one of my personal favorites. I had the original issue when I was a kid. I remember it had this cool custom option, and I begged my dad to help me paint it to make it look just like that. But that would have required a trip to the store for some black paint. So I settled for him to just paint the cove white, and I assembled the rest. 
choosing the mag wheels. So when choosing a subject for this group build, here's what I really have in mind. What we're really going to do is this one. This is the 57 Street Vet. Second issue of the uh, Monogram 57 Corvette that eventually became Ravel Monogram. Uh, copyright 1981. And um, yeah, that looks pretty cool. I remember seeing this kit. And um, since I already had the red one already built, mom and dad wouldn't get this one for me. So now is going to be the time to um, build this, we're gonna try to duplicate this box art photo uh, with no paint. If you look carefully, it has a red interior. So that is where the, um, the newer kit's gonna come in. It'll donate some of this. And um, engine, it might get some of the red. And um, it's going to be a pretty neat build. So um, the funny thing is, is as cool as this one is, it was basically the same price as the new kit. These things are so plentiful. Um, what can you say? You know, I basically got both of these kits for the same price as um, a new kit at Hobby Lobby. So this will be interesting to... Um, to build, so let's open it up and see what's going on with it. So here we go, we're gonna open up this vintage kit, and hopefully everything that we need is intact. And uh, we gotta do this real quick. We're gonna do this and... Ah, you gotta smell that old air, and yes, this one is molded in black, which is good. And uh, on first impression, it's in good shape. And the glass, that's almost perfect. I really don't like buying vintage sealed kits because you don't really know what you're gonna get into. But I have found that these old monogram ones have pretty much stood the test of time. The tires still feel good. They're a little bit sticky, but um, maybe if we scrub them down, that'll work. Um, kind of got something sneaky planned for the tires, because there are some rules for this. And... Um, we're gonna have to abide by. And so let's see what else we get in here. The chrome tree looks basically identical to what was in the red car, as expected. And the most important part, those decals. And they are in excellent shape. Whoa, look at that. This is just a dust on them. Those are gonna look pretty cool. And the instructions. So we're going to, in fact, I'm gonna leave these out because this is the most important part. Because if you want it to look like that, you gotta have these. So I'm pretty excited about this. This is gonna be pretty fun. And uh, I hope everyone follows along and uh, sees the techniques I use to replicate this vintage box art. Well, I wish everyone else in this group build a low stress building session. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, you know what to do, because I have all kinds of model car stories to tell. Thanks for watching.